your brain power in the distance time graph above what does the slope of straight line indicate answer the slope of the straight line gives the speed of the car it is v equals to s2 minus s1 upon t2 minus t1 equals to 90 meter minus 15 meter upon 60 second minus 10 second equals to 75 meter upon 50 second equals to 1.5 meter per second use your brain power with the help of the graph how will you determine the distance covered by the train between 2 and 4 hours answer 1 s equals to vt equals to 60 kilometer on h into 4 hour minus 2 hour equals to 120 kilometer question 2 is there a relation between the distance covered by the train between 2 and 4 hours and the area of a particular quadrangle in the graph what is the acceleration of the train answer area abcd equals to 60 km upon hour into 2 hour equals to 120 km the acceleration of the train is zero velocity time graph for uniform acceleration the changes in the velocity of a car in specific time intervals are given in the following table Time in second, velocity in meter per second. Diagram 1.8, velocity, time graph. Velocity in meter per second, time in seconds. Number 1. The velocity changes by equal amounts in equal time intervals. Thus, this is uniform acceleration in accelerated motion. Number 2. For all uniformly accelerated motions, the velocity time graph is a straight line. Number 3. For non-uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity time graph may have any shape depending on how the acceleration changes with time. Equations of motion using graphical method. Newton studied motion of an object and gave a set of three equations of motion. These relate the displacement, velocity, acceleration and time of an object moving along a straight line. Suppose an object is in motion along a straight line with initial velocity u. It attains a final velocity v in the time t. Due to acceleration a, its displacement is s. The three equations of motion can be written as v equal to u plus a t. This is the relation between velocity and time. s equals to u t plus 1 by 2 a t square. This is the relation between displacement and time. v square equals to u square plus 2 a s. This is the relation between displacement and velocity. Equation describing the relation between velocity and time. Figure 1.9 shows the change in velocity with time of a uniformly accelerated object. The object starts from the point D in the graph with velocity u. Its velocity keeps increasing and after time t it reaches the point B on the graph. The initial velocity of the object equals to u equals to od. The final velocity of the object equals to v equals to oc. Time t equals to OE, acceleration a equals to change in velocity upon time, equals to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time, OC minus OD upon t, that is CD equal to AT1, OC minus OD equal to CD. Draw a line parallel to y axis passing through B, this will cross the x axis in E, draw a line parallel to x axis passing through D, this will cross the line BE at A. From the graph, B equal to AB plus AE, that is V equal to CD plus OD, AB equal to CD and AE equal to OD, that is V equal to AT plus U from 1, that is V equal to U plus AT. This is the first equation of motion.